My husband is having an affair with a co-worker. Any advice is appreciated. My husband is having an ongoing affair with a co-worker. He has blown her off a few times, but overall this has been going on for the past year and a half or so. According to my husband she keeps pursuing him even after he ignores her and they eventually end up back to where they were before. They meet before slash after work, ride share, go on dates, she buys him gifts. My husband has been pretty honest with me about this, as far as I know, although I do think he is hiding some things and he does not want me to read his messages. Supposedly she asks him to go out multiple times a week and he often says no. They've gone on three dates in the last month and a half. This co-worker is also married and has children the same age as ours. My husband and his co-worker both work nights and I teach five days a week. Because my husband is home with the children during the day he takes the children to all of their activities. His co-worker's children have, over the past year, been signed up for the same classes and activities as our children. Now that I am on summer vacation I am seeing his co-worker at activities about three times a week. Since I've been home they have not been taking the children places together, although apparently she has still been asking, but during the school year this happens often, going to the zoo, going out to lunch, going to the playground, etc. His co-worker knows that I am not okay with their relationship and has occasionally sent me text messages saying thank you for letting the children get together etc. I've been polite but not overly friendly. Going into the summer I knew that I was going to run into her quite a bit, so I asked her to have lunch. I had only met her once briefly before and honestly thought that maybe if she could see me as a nice person she would let affair with my husband go. The whole lunch was small talk. I was really just feeling her out to see what kind of person she was. She clearly has not backed off. My relationship with my husband has had its hard points, but we have really been focusing on communication and spending meaningful time together. Aside from the obvious issue with his co-worker there is not much tension or disagreement. Even though I still love him very much, if we did not have children I probably would have already walked away. That being said, I do honestly feel that a two-parent household is best for my children right now, ages 1 and 4. We have done a lot together this summer as a family and made some wonderful memories. The school year is very difficult for our family structure because my husband and I are on opposite shifts and really only have four weeknights together, he works Friday, sad, sun overnights I work mon, Friday days. I have told him that I am afraid the start of the school year will reset us back to where we were previously. I honestly don't know what I want to do. I continue to oscillate between anger, sadness, and confusion. I really appreciate any insight slash advice here. These are the options I have come up with. Keep the moral high ground. Be non-confrontational but not overly friendly with AP and continue to work on my marriage until I can't any longer where I've been the past year plus. Tell AP exactly what I actually think, this would be appropriately worded and planned ahead of time. I would be calm and articulate, but probably not very nice, and see what happens. File for divorce and tear apart our family structure. Significantly impacting our finances and the quality of life for us all because we cannot afford two separate living spaces etc., this is my least favorite option although in my last post this was unanimously the course of action to take based on comments. Stay married, open the relationship, and date on my own because I've accepted they are going to do whatever they want anyway. Really not interested in anyone slash anything right now, but would mostly do this out of spite. My husband tells me to date, but I don't think he believes I'd actually do it. So, what do you think? Comment. You aren't reconciling. Your husband is in the middle of an affair. The only thingy that may snap him out is to 1. File for divorce having him served at work naming her as the affair partner 2. Tell the other husband. 3. Tell both of your families, always drag cheating into the light. And 4. Telling HR. You need him out of the affair fog and confronting a bad reality. Not playing the pick-me game where he gets to triangulate two women. 
are you really okay with living with him in the middle of an affair? With this woman being around your children? Can you think about why this is s relationship you'd like to model and if you'd be okay with your kids suffering through this? Plan your exit strategy. Ultimately he's the one who would have to support two homes. Is that realistic? Tell me something, op. How do you think your children will react years from now when they discover that not only was their father letting them play with the children of the woman he was cheating with, but that you knew and did nothing? This is modeling some doormat behavior for your children. Are you freaking nuts? He stops this shit right away, finds a job and goes and see with her. How is this remotely acceptable? This woman is pathetic and should be out of your life. He needs to be shocked into dropping her. Have you contacted her husband? Do not rush without better advice. Who earns the better money? How are your finances set up? Who has the most debt? Do you want to do a world cruise? Right now, the ring is something you can use, and the fact your partner has not filed is in your favor. Talk to a lawyer and find out what you can legally do. While you have access to shared savings, you can spend them to travel on your own. You can change jobs or study and go for a promotion in your future, or you can push for him to get promoted and then get a better chunk of assets. Revenge or damage the new relationship is best served once separated if you feel the need. Prepare for separation, the vows, relationships, and rules have been broken. You can reconcile after a divorce, but this is a full reset to dating. Here is the thing the bloke you see is he worth dating, or is it just that he is what you had? Are you okay with modeling this dysfunction to your kids? They're watching a shitty abusive dad who completely disregards their mum's emotional well-being and a mum who just takes it? They will grow up believing this is normal. They will take the lessons they learn from you and your husband and will apply that to their future relationships. It's up to you to model self-love and self-respect to them. Yes leaving will be hard. I've heard the choice to leave described as having your arm trapped by a rock and your choice is to stay and slowly starve or sum up the courage to cut your arm off so you can survive. You have to go because you can't stay in this dysfunction. Next story too. My mother is blaming me for stealing hundreds on pounds from my little sister. I am the oldest of seven. My whole life I've been very unmotivated and lazy, I'll admit that. I genuinely believe I need to go to therapy and receive help for how I am as a person. When I was a child I asked my mother for this therapy and she told me they'd throw me in a loony bin before, TW, throwing a pack of razors at me and told me to SH. My family have never believed in getting things diagnosed because they believe that it'll define them as people and we'd use it as an excuse. Obviously I'm 18 now and I can do it myself but it's always been hard to take that first step alone. Me and my family are moving to the other side of the country in a week or so and I have been searching for appropriate jobs in the area. I have never worked properly before and I'm excited to start but I don't want to be stuck in a job I won't enjoy. If it's mundane or overly stressful for me I know I won't do it and I want to take this new life in a different city seriously. My mum has found the fact that I haven't found a job yet absolutely irresistible to not talk about. Every time I see her, a small favor or argue with her she'll bring up that I have no job and that I am lazy. My uncle had come over today. Now my uncle is a rebound scumbag. I won't even begin to describe the things he has done but just imagine the lowest of the low. My family always seem to forgive Hun and he gets next to no repercussions for his actions. It's a genuine miracle he isn't in prison. Apparently my mum has found a coat hanger on my little sister's bed next to her money jar and as she felt the jar it was almost completely empty. There were hundreds of pounds in this jar. Now I admit I had stolen about five pounds from the jar once before to pay for the bud to college but it was right before my birthday so I gave her ten pounds thinking that I had paid her back and nobody needed to ever know. Well apparently someone else must have been stealing from the jar a lot more than the one time I did because now hundreds of pounds are missing. My mother refuses to believe it was anyone but me as I told her about the one time I stole a fiver from the jar not knowing she was talking about it being practically empty and that she just knew I took money out for some reason. 
she refuses to let me explain myself and I'm currently too sick to even have the energy to do it. She is currently telling my whole family what scum I am and I've been feeling so guilty over something I didn't even do. I don't understand how she can think it was me and not my uncle. I gave my sister a bunch of toys that I've collected over the years, which probably made me look a lot guiltier but I just didn't want my baby sister to think of me as some crummy ass that stole from her. I don't know what to do.